to give his message on this occasion. Honorable Chief Minister, my dear friend Mr. Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy ji, my cabinet colleague Kishan Reddy ji, our state minister for road transports Adaraniya VK Singh ji, our party president of Andhra Pradesh, all respectable dignitaries, ministers, MPs, all my parliament colleagues, MLAs, our all officers and dear friends. First of all, it is a great pleasure for me that today's program is one of the historical program in the history of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is one of the progressive state and for progress, the two important sectors which are very important, one is agriculture and other is industry. For industrial development, we need water, power, transport and communication. Without that, we cannot get industry. And without industry, we cannot create employment potential. And without employment potential, we cannot eradicate poverty. At the same time, the agriculture is also equally important. And that is the reason that for agriculture we need power, water, processing industries, agro-processing industries, and we need good infrastructure. I remember when Atal Bihari Vajpayee was the Prime Minister of India and I was Minister in Maharashtra. Vajpayee ji once called me and he gave me order to develop the road infrastructure for village connectivity. Actually my age was at that time 32 years. And I just, the, when Bajpayee ji gave me the responsibility, it was a great pleasure and pride for me. Three to four months, with the help of all expert and committee members, we formulate the policy and we, at that time, we prepare the scheme for village connectivity for the country and the scheme was popularly known as Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana. And I was the instrument, I was the chairman of that committee to formulate the policy for that scheme. And today this is one of the flagship schemes for the government. And at that scheme there was a report in the committee from Nabad and Reserve Bank by giving connectivity to villages, it will increase 1,10,000 crores of GDP in the country. I also remember when I taken charge as a minister, first of all, we have taken one slogan on the wall just near to my chair, and that is from American President John Kennedy. The John Kennedy giving a very historical statement at that time that American roads are not good because America is rich. But America is rich because American roads are good. And that is exactly I remember every time. So Andhra Pradesh is a progressive state. A state having two big major ports here. It is really a very, very important thing that because of port connectivity, it can be easy for the state government to accelerate the progress and development in the state. 
we can increase our export. The most important agenda with the country for Atmanirbhar Bharat is we need to we need to increase our export and we need to reduce our imports. By increasing export, we are going to create more employment potential and where we can make Indian economy as a number one economy in the world. And I feel that the role of Andhra Pradesh, particularly to making Indian economy strong, the role of Andhra Pradesh is very, very important. And I am really giving my congratulations to Honorable Chief Minister under his able leadership. The Andhra Pradesh is now developing as one of the most important progressive state, probably it will be number, number 5, number 2, number 3, 4. I don't want to know exactly the economic data. But the way in which the vision of Andhra Pradesh government, 100%, this is very important for the country. And as far as development is concerned, we don't want to discriminate anybody. Because country belongs to everybody. And that is the reason that the slogan and the philosophy given by the Prime Minister, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, or Sabka Prayas. And that is exactly the philosophy which is very, very important for all of us. I got opportunity to work as a shipping minister. I got many times opportunity to visit Vishakapatnam port, Krishnapatnam port. There was also two ports. There was a lot of debate in Andhra Pradesh. I now not remember the name. Mashli Patnam and other is two now port was there. Some of the people, MP, MP coming to me, make this port. Some of the MP coming, make this port. Once I suggest my secretary make the two, pro, two ports also give the clearance to them. But he was telling me that there was a problem. But now it's I am listening from your side that you are making these ports, and this is very important. Ports are very important. Waterways are very important. And exactly the road construction is equally important. Today we have a lot of uh, projects we are inaugurating, a lot of projects we are already making Bhumi Pujan for that. So it is really a great pleasure for all of us. But today I am assuring you, that 100% regarding development of road infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh, we will support you. And before end of 24, we will at least spend more than 3 lakh crore on road construction in Andhra Pradesh. That already the promise I want to give you. I will really give you this promise because I am confident that that my ministry is never don't have at any time we don't have any shortage of money. Yesterday I was in Batinda in Punjab. We are constructing a lot of express highway in Punjab, in Uttar Pradesh, everywhere in the part of the country because the infrastructure, road infrastructure is very important. We have constructed, decided to construct 22 green express highway. And out of which the Andhra Pradesh have Six express highway are in Andhra Pradesh, and these express highway. Ah, yes, yes, I have got it. The six Greenfield Express Highway in Andhra Pradesh. The one is very important express highway for Chhattisgarh, and also for Vishakhapatnam to increase the business in infrastructure and particularly for container traffic. As far as railway is concerned, there is totally traffic jam is there. And that is the reason that we decided to construct the Greenfield Express Highway from Raipur to Vishakhapatnam. It goes through Chhattisgarh and Orissa and Andhra Pradesh. The 15 packages are there. Project length is 465 kilometer. And project cost is 16,102 crore. Already 356 kilometer road construction is awarded. Under bidding is 109 kilometer. And 100% I will promise to all of you 
that before end of 2024, we will complete this express highway, which can be a really very, very important for Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, and Chhattisgarh. At the same time, the other express highway is really important for me also, because that express highway starting from Nagpur to Vijayawada. And Nagpur is my constituency, I'm from Nagpur. And that is one of the reasons that I'm very much happy about it. The project length is 405 kilometer. The cost of the project is 15,000 crore. The 95 kilometer is already under construction. And 310 kilometer is under DPR. We will complete this project in 2025. And it is very important project because this project is of 1,200, uh, the particularly in Andhra Pradesh, in Krishna district, the project is uh, uh, will helpful for development of the backward area. The other uh, Greenfield Express Highway is Chitur and Thachur. The project length is 116 kilometer. The project cost is 5,000 crore. Already works awarded 116 kilometer, and we will complete this project in 2024. This is also very important. The fourth project is Hyderabad Vishakapatnam. The project length is 22 kilometer. Project cost is 6,000 crore. The project is under construction 59 kilometer, awarded 163 kilometer and we will complete this project in 2025. This is also very important for development of trade business in Andhra Pradesh. The other project is also very important that is between Bangalore and Chennai. The project length is 262 kilometer. Project cost is 17,000 kilometer, 17,000 crore. 85 kilometer length in Bharat Mala to Gudipala section. Nay, Bethar Mangala to Gudipala section falls in Andhra Pradesh. Estimated cost is 5,000 crore and entire 85 kilometer awarded during current year and agreements to be signed. The project shall facilitate better connectivity between Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. The better connectivity between Bangalore and Chennai. The silent features of the major bridges are 18 major bridges are there and two flyovers, 46 underpass. Our speed on this express highway now we are going to increase it because I just take a trial on Mumbai Delhi Express Highway. At that time the speed was 160 km per hour. We are very much comfortable. So now this is the time for particularly the speed limits, we need to change the rules and regulation because access control express highway are very, very important by which we are going to reduce the fuel cost and the logistic cost is the most important thing. The Ch in China, the logistic cost is 8 to 10 percent. In European countries, the logistic cost is 12 percent. USA, it is 12 percent and India somewhere it is 16 to 18 percent and that is one of the problem for our export our cost are high and that is the reason now we accepting this challenge that we are going to reduce the logistic cost up to 8 to 10 percent we are we are trying our level best to reduce the cost by 6 percent now the as a transport minister we are planning to start electric trucks and in place of diesel, we are encouraging to take LNG as a fuel. 100 rupees of diesel, and uh, that is coming for LNG is only 40 rupees, and for CNG it is coming to 60 rupees. And now we are working on green hydrogen. I have a car from Toyota, from Japan, and next week I am going to launch that car by using green hydrogen making hydrogen from water. My suggestion to the Honorable Chief Minister that my vision is we can make green hydrogen from sewage water. In my own constituency in Nagpur, 
we are selling our toilet water, sewage water to government of Maharashtra for power generation and we are getting 325 crore rupees per year for corporation from the government of Maharashtra. Now the idea is everywhere in municipal corporation, we can use this sewage water free of charge and rooftop solar with windmill, the power cost will be very, very reasonably less. And electrolyzer, now in Bangalore, actually last month I was supposed to go there to inaugurate the factory. The you new talented engineers from USA, the Indian engineers, they have started the manufacturing of electrolyzer. Cost is very less and we can make green hydrogen and after that we want to compress it, we will use generator on ethanol, green fuel making from rice and sugarcane juice and molasses. So we can make green hydrogen. The mission of our government and the prime ministers to make Indian economy strong with hydrogen mission. Now we are importing the crude oil and gas and petroleum of 8 lakh crores. And next five, next five years it will go up to 25 lakh crores. As a farmer I am trying from 2004 Constantly, I am pursuing the diversification of agriculture towards energy and power sector. Our country is not only a farmer, but a farmer. That is exactly what I want to tell you. And today, 100%, I am sure about it, that we are launching flex engine. The meaning of flex engine means you can use ethanol or petrol both. So, tomato, Hyundai, Suzuki has already promised me to start their manufacturing for flex engine. I already launched scooter and bike from Bajaj and TBS, TBS on flex engine. The ethanol rate is 62 rupees and the petrol rate is 110 rupees. Today in Andhra Pradesh we have surplus of rice. The broken rice is available. The one ton of broken rice is giving 480 liter of bioethanol. And today in the country, 150 projects are in the process to making ethanol from rice cut, broken rice, and that can be a great thing for the country. We will reduce our import, the import substitute cost-effective, pollution-free and indigenous. I request Honorable Chief Minister that Andhra Pradesh can be a growth, growth center for manufacturing of ethanol, manufacturing of green hydrogen, and a lot of edible industries are already developed here. I know that the Kakinada port have a lot of factories they are making biodiesel from the Pomolian West, and that diesel is used in our area also. So making this biofuel and green fuel is the need of the country. The ethics, economy, ecology and environment, these are the three important things. And out of which I will request Honorable Chief Minister that regarding this ecology and environment, the air pollution, the water pollution and sound pollution is the big concern for the country. And as a transport minister, now we are working on public transport system on electricity. We can make ropeway, cable car, funicular railway, Already we have sanctioned 16 projects in Andhra, in Himachal Pradesh and 15 projects in Uttarakhand. If you have any projects in Andhra Pradesh, kindly give this project to me, we will sanction it. Today, Honorable Chief Minister already giving me the proposal of making Eastern, Eastern Ring Road of uh, Vijayawada and already Western Ring Road is work has already started. Uh, I will promise to him that I am going to sanction this Eastern Ring Road. But my only request is regarding land acquisition, there is a 50% contribution from me. That was the condition given by the administration, my ministry. But I will make relaxation in that. You give me GST exemption on steel and cement only on that project because that is a notional loss and by which uh, giving royalty-free aggregate material and at the same time giving government land free of charge. And just there is a government land is available, give me for the logistic part, which can be helpful for the development of your state. So I am going to sanction that. Third, your proposal was regarding ROBs. So you are asking me for 20 ROBs. 
I am sanctioned 30 ROVs. <laughs> so you give it to me. My ministry is just such a ministry that I don't have any problem about resources. I know how to get the resources. And that is the reason just my, I had one function in Uttar Pradesh with Yogi Ji. I have Drupadi ki thali hai. Jitne log khana khane ke liye So I always tell it to the people that if there is a political will, strong political will is the basic strength for making new projects and good infrastructure. The strong political will is very important. You can donate I, but you cannot donate vision. Lack of appropriate vision is a problem for our country. With appropriate vision, with full transparency, time-bound decision-making process, qualitative approach, and corruption-free system, that is the need of the country. We can make Indian economy strong. And that is the reason that Andhra Pradesh is one of the important states which contribute great particularly related with the GDP growth and per capita income, the record of Andhra Pradesh is very good. I am really happy about creating good infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh, which is going to create more jobs, creating good business, industry, trades, and at the same time, particularly the ports, which are very important. When I visit every time in Vijayawada, I always remember the days when I was very, very touchy with the project of Polavaram. At that time, there was a lot of challenges, a lot of problems. I always telling the people at that time, there are some people who convert problems into opportunities. And there are some people who convert opportunities into the problems. That was a very difficult task. The contractor was in a big problem. We resolved the problem, start the project. 80% of the project is completed. I have some my emotional attachment with that project as a farmer because that water is going to the sea. 1300 TMC of water is going to the sea. If the polarum is, go, polarum is going to save that water, is going to the farmers of the Andhra Pradesh because I am from Vidarbha. We are facing every year farmer suicides. 10,000 farmer suicides in my area. I have decided to work for farmers. I'm working in water conservation. My NGO get international award. I have three sugar factory. And the sugar factory is a loss-making business. I am very much fed up about it. But this year, we are working only for the welfare of the farmers. I always talking to the farmers that politics is the instrument of socio-economic reform. The meaning of the politics is not only power politics. It is the socio-economic transformation is the main mission of the politics. And that is the reason I completely giving my full time for the development of farmers in my area in Vidarbha. There was there 10,000 farmer suicides in my area. I know that the farmers in Andhra Pradesh, they are also in the trouble. And this is the time the water of Polavaram is going to change the scenario of this area. 100%. I am emotionally very, very touchy and very, it's a subject which is very much related to core of my heart. Once a time, though I am not a water resources minister now, but when the project will be completed, after that, once I will come here to see the complete project, that will give me tremendous good satisfaction because I am also very much touchy for that project. I am giving my all best wishes to you our government will help you, and 100% we will succeed in this mission. Once again, I am giving my thanks to all of you. 100% we are committed for development and progress. And I always tell to the people that the politics of 21st century is the politics for progress and development. And the two important philosophy which always I remember, one is innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skill. And and successful practices, which is already here in Hyderabad, as a biotechnology and information technology, the Hyderabad is the center. So they convert this all, this is knowledge, innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skill, and successful practices. And knowledge is a power. 
and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future and the other philosophy is conversion of waste into wealth that is the future i am really happy that andhra pradesh talented young people who are always when i was in usa the lot of telugu people meet me doing excellent job in usa everywhere even in even in uk also so the talent is here the government is a facilitator and 100% i feel that the andhra pradesh is going to be a, a one of the most important developed state in the country we will all support you for all developmental works particularly road infrastructure giving my thanks to all my parliament colleagues always coming to me and giving me this road this road many time your mlas also started to coming to me to asking about the problem but today whatever the suggestion whatever the recommendation given by the chief minister 100% already we have resolved all the problems and really that is a that is a great thing for my ministry and i am very much happy about it i am giving my all thanks to all of you and once again giving thanks to the people of andhra pradesh and the giving cooperation from the government of andhra pradesh chief minister and minister and mps giving my special thanks to them thank you very much namaskar bharat mata ki